Hi guys, uh, in this video we're going to learn how to filter uh, using query. Um, I also updated some of the uh, records and some of my tables just to have a little more variety. Uh, as you can see I have a, a, a record here for pants that has no price so someone forgot to put that in so that's sometimes called the null value. Uh, in this video you'll see uh, there's ways to find those kind of things if that's what you're looking for. Um, find null values. I also changed the names of some of the tables and added uh, some some more records just so that we have more and better uh, examples to to work with in these videos. Okay, so with no further ado, let's learn how to filter using the WHERE clause. So um, there's a bunch of kind of uh, operators that we're going to play around with that go along with the WHERE clause. So let's jump right into uh, SQL. And let's stick with this products table that we seem to becoming more and more acquainted with. Uh, since we're only going to use one table for, for these very basic queries, uh, product uh, items seems to be a nice one uh, since we've, we're becoming familiar with it. So product name and product price seem to be the two interesting fields. Uh, again, this is a very simplistic table. Uh, you would have maybe a lot more descriptions here, like the, the fabric use, uh, the category, etc. But we don't really need that here for, for educational purposes. So product price, product name, give us a lot to work with. Of course, there's these uh, keys, the product ID, etc. that are, I explained in the very first video, why those are essential to have primary keys and identifiers. Um, but as far as queries, uh, more often we're going to be querying something with context. Okay, now, with no further ado, let's get back to our code. And what I want to do is maybe, actually let me case, let's look for products that are above a certain price, below a certain price, equal to a certain price, not equal to a certain price, between two prices. That'll give us a chance to use a lot of the where clause operators. Okay. So select, let's select um, all fields. So just remember how we do that with the, with, if, if it's a particular field that you're interested or two, um, you can explicitly write them. Uh, if you want all the fields, you can use asterisk. So since I typed them out, let's leave them. So I'm gonna get only these two fields. So, right, uh, I didn't complete from, product items. Now let's run this and you see I get only these two fields. I get the product name and the product price. Okay, great. Uh, that's kind of our very first tutorial. Now we want to do something more sophisticated. So where, that's new now, where the product price is greater than, let's make up some numbers, $50. I'll run this and you'll see I'll only see the two fields that I said I wanted to view, select, and I'll only see products that are over $50. Great. This is not a record, by the way. This is just a, a way to input new records. So don't, don't let this confuse you. That's an access thing. Back to SQL. How about cheaper than $50? Okay, so I'm only looking at products that are less than $50. How about greater than or equal to $50? So uh, let me choose a better, better number. So let's choose 50. Let's choose greater than 55. Okay, and then let's compare this result to greater than or equal to 55 because I'm pretty sure there was a product in there that was exactly 55. That won't show up if you say greater than 55, but will show up in greater than or equal to 55. The goggles were exactly 55. Okay, perfect. How about if we were interested in a specific number like 56? Hopefully there's something that's exactly 56. I can just use the equals operator with where. Run this. Actually, there were two products that were exactly $56. 
how about if I want to look at products that are not $56? So I use the less than and the greater than together like this, and that indicates not equal to 56. So you'll see all the products that are not 56. So you won't see the number 56 here, and you won't see the record for 56, for a product that's $56. Okay. What else? Um, oh, sometimes you want to see between two numbers inclusively. So between, we can use this operator. So between, let's say, $30 and $50. Let's run that. So we see there's two products, the pants and the pocket rocket, that are between $30 and $50. And as you can see, that's inclusive. Okay. Uh, also, what if we want to pick up on any null values? So is dot null. So this sometimes is useful. So if we, we maybe we want to directly go and find a product that is um, uh, uh, sorry a record that has a missing value. So we can use is null to find that directly, and we see that uh, I I set this up so that I can illustrate this that the product pants doesn't have a price so we might want to look into that there might be a query just to find uh, something that we need to correct okay so is null between greater than less than all those together those are operators that go along with the where clause okay so one last thing I want to go through now is we were filtering based on a numerical field product price that's a currency that's a number so we can say greater than less than what if we were to query based on the name of the product okay uh, that is clearly not a number so greater than less than greater than or equal to all those don't work but a few do equal to not equal to uh, are you and is null will be useful here so equal to and here you have to use quotes and I like to use single quotes I think that's the best idea um, so product name since I know one of the products at least one of the products is named pants it's very generic sorry uh, I'll look for products that only are pants run that and I'll see I have three actually products named pants. One of them had no price. The other were $45 and $80 respectively. Okay. What if I want products that are not pants? I'll see all the products that are not pants. So you won't see pants in this list of records. Okay. And if, if there was a kind of a hunch that there, was, there may have been a null value, I can check. In this case, we see there was no null value. So, so there was no records, rather, that had a null value for uh, product name. Now, what if you want to, let's start combining some things that we've learned. I mean, naturally, we are already using the select statement. What if we want to then order the results of our work? So let's go back to something that had some um, results. So not equal to so we want the product name not equal to pants let's see those results we just saw these a moment ago okay and let's say we want to sort these results based on the product price so we learn how to sort so be careful here when you use where to filter you should order after the where clause. So order by, we've learned this already, product price, and let's say ascending, let's be explicit about it. So we'll get the same records, except now they are sorted based on the price of the product. And clearly we're not seeing any pants in here. So we are starting to combine things that we've learned in previous tutorials to get finer and finer query results. The next natural step here would to be actually to come to be able to do a slightly more 
interesting or advanced filtering instead of just filtering based on let's say one field like product name not being equal to pants what if we can say give us the product name products that aren't pants and that have a price of greater than 50 so you see i just had i threw an and in there or i could throw an or in there or the price is less than 50. so this lets us basically filter based on multiple fields instead of what we've done here in this video is to just filter based on one field at a time okay so that's coming next i hope this was helpful uh, make sure to subscribe share and like and comment until next time have